welcome to a video where I show you how to make traditional, well I don't show you, my dad is showing you how to make a traditional Norwegian dish called forrikol, sheep in cabbage. Okay, so my mother just informed me it's the traditional dish in Norway, so this is, this is Norway's dish. Sheep in cabbage, but we don't use sheep, we use lamb because we are richer now than we were before. When we were back in the old days, we were poor and everyone used cabbage because that's so cheap, and they used the sheep because it's too expensive to eat the lambs. This forrikol shot of lamb. So we get rid of the blood. We we get rid of the blood. Okay. This. Ooh. This. Yeah. Remove that. That's pretty much it with the meat. Yes. Yes. So super easy. I have some water in the bottom just to start with. Okay. And then the big pieces of meat goes first in. So a little bit of water at the bottom because we don't want the meat to burn to the yeah. And then we have the cabbage. Cut it in big pieces. Because if you cut it in small pieces, you will have uh, mousse. Mousse, mush. It mush. will be kind of like uh, potato mash. We don't want mush. No, we don't want that. We want big pieces. Big pieces. Hmm. So how many people are this food uh, for? No, no, we are making for uh, four, five. We have uh, two kilo of meat. And on each layer, we add whole pepper, like a teaspoon. Some salt. And some... Flour. Flour. A little bit. Teaspoon. Okay. Oh. We add the flour, so the, like, the watery... Juices, juices from the meat and the cabbage won't get so runny, so it's then you thicker make, sauce. And then, <laughs> and then you make a new layer. New layer. I will just do it like that till the little almond. More cabbage. It's gonna be so good. And some more pepper. One teaspoon, some salt. So it's wheat meal, yeah, wheat flour. So it's meat, cabbage, salt, pepper, yeah. and a little bit of flour. That's the recipe. And now you can start to cook it. Mm. And what you do, you add three quarters of a liter of boiled water. boiled water. You don't start with cold water. You start with boiled water. Put the lid on and uh, cook for two and a half to three hours. It's important that the cabbage become um, brown, brown, golden, and brown. Yeah, yeah. and it will taste more. The cabbage will taste more because it's taking all like the juices and the, the tastes from all the meat and the salt and the pepper into the cabbage. So the cabbage is good. No, we are not adding water now because we are boiling tomorrow. Yeah. So and now, the best to drink with this is beer, homemade beer, yeah. and Akvit. Akvit. Cheers. <laughs> now uh, the food is boiling. You can come and watch. Come. In here, it's the meat and the cabbage. Yeah. And here, potato. And the meat and the cabbage are going to boil for two to three hours. It's very important to check it uh, regularly to see if uh, there's still enough water because if the water runs out then you will burn the food and then it will be a disaster. So this is pretty simple, just cut it, boil it, wait, and then we eat later. <laughs> this is a finished plate. Lots of black pepper, bones, fat. Like, mush, mushy stuff, yeah. All happy, all satisfied, very full. Thank you for watching!